Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we're going to learn how to create Christmas Instagram story templates in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow the tutorial. So download the project file and get ready. In case if you want the completely designed .psg file, it means hit the like button. Soon after reaching 50 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First, go to the project file. Open the PSD file inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file. Size is 1080 by 1920. You can use it for designing Instagram story, WhatsApp status. Before getting into the animation process, we're going to drop in series of images. Let's start by dropping in our background image. Go to the project file. Open the background image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Of course, if you got your custom made background means you can use them. Now place it inside our canvas, enable free, transfer tool, control T and resize them. Now I'll delete this empty layer by selecting and hit delete. Next, we're going to drop in our model image. Now go to the project file, open the model image inside Photoshop. This image is neatly cropped file. In case if you want to know how to crop the file means, we already posted many tutorials in our channel. You can check them. I'm not going to teach how to crop the image here. Now. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Of course, you can use your image. I'm going to place it at the bottom here. Fine. Next step, we're going to add our Santa image. Now, again, go to the project file. Open the Santa image inside Photoshop. Now, drag and drop the image inside our canvas. This one is neatly cropped a .png file. We're going to animate this image moving from left to right like so as if now i'm going to place at the center here we will come to the animation part later next we're going to drop in our christmas lettering image go to the project file open the image inside photoshop drag and drop the image inside our canvas i'm going to place it at the top center here you can adjust the spacing using keyboard arrow keys fine Once you're done, next we're going to drop in our snow stock image, go to the project file, open the snow stock image inside Photoshop and yes, again, drop the image inside our canvas, place it wherever you want. There you go. Next step, we're going to start our animation process. Before that, I'm going to name the layers properly. I'm going to name this layer as Santa model font. This one as snow. Fine. Once you're done, next go to window. This one. There, select timeline. Now, click create video timeline. This is where we're going to do our animation process. Click this icon and zoom out the frames. Our video is going to be 10 seconds long video. I'm going to extend all the frames to 10 seconds. If you want, you can use this playhead, place it at exactly 10 seconds and extend the frames. We're going to make changes to Santa font and snow frames later. As of now, extend all the frames to 10 seconds. Fine. Once you're done, let's start by editing our Santa frame. Select the Santa frame, this one. Now we are going to animate it such a way it's going to move from left to right. As if now, I'm going to place it on left side outside the canvas here. Next, we're going to create starting keyframe and end keyframe. Fine. I want the Santa frame to start after one second. So I'll adjust the frame in such a way it starts after one second. You can use the play it as a reference to time them neatly. Fine. Next, select the Santa layer, right click, convert it to a smart object so that it will be much easier to animate the layer. Now click this arrow icon. Now you'll see transform option. Now click the clock icon. There you go. We created our starting keyframe. Next. Move the playhead and place it at the end of the frame here at 10 seconds. Next, 
we are going to create our end keyframe for that select the center layer now hit ctrl t now move the center image from left to right place it completely outside the canvas now hit enter there you go we created our end keyframe let's see the output move the play head to beginning of the frame click the play button there you go Once you're happy with the output, hit the stop button. Let's move to the font layer. Now select the font frame. This one, I want the frame to begin after three seconds. I'll place the play at around 3.5 seconds and now adjust the font frame. Next, I'm going to add a fade effect. For that, click this icon. You will find a fade effect, drag and drop it. Now let's see the output. Move the play to beginning of the frame. There you go. Looks nice. Next, let's edit the snow frame. We're going to animate them in a way it's going to look like a realistic snow falling. Let's start by moving the snow layer to top. I'm going to place it completely outside the canvas like so. Next, I'm going to Place the play it at the beginning of the frame. Before creating our keyframe, I'm going to convert the snow layer to smart object. Select the layer, right click, convert it to smart object. Now click this arrow, click the transform clock icon to create the starting keyframe. Now move the play it and place it at the end of the frame. Now we are going to create the end keyframe. Now enable free transform tool control T. Move the image and place it inside the canvas. Now hit enter. There you go. We created our end keyframe. We are almost done. Let's see the output. Click the play button. Next, it's time to add our audio track. Click this arrow, click add audio. Now select your audio file, click open. There you go. Now our audio file is added to our frame. Next step, we're going to remove the exist audio part. Place the play it at the end of the frame. Now click this scissor icon and split the audio file. Now delete the exist audio part. Now check the final output. Now it's time to render the file. Go to file, export, select render video. Now add the video title, select the folder. Select the format you want. Now click render. Once the render is complete, your video file is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials. Subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.